Early on, when I was trying to find a central concept for the piece I'm writing, the book Liao Zai Zhi Yi, or called Strange Tales from a Chinese Studio, um, somehow this book just popped into my head. This is a book written by Pu Songling, who was born in 1640 and passed away in 1715. My impression about Liao Zai Zhi Yi mostly came from some cheesy TV shows or movies hair-raising thrillers written by some third-rate writers and sometimes there are romantic ghost stories for instance a young man he came across this painting of exquisitely beautiful young lady and he fell in love with it and somehow reunite together <laughs> so it's a lot of this type of thing extremely entertaining but they don't tell me or show me what Liao Zai Zhi really is about Last fall, I went to Harvard Yanjing Library. Harvard Yanjing Library is the largest university library in the Western world that is devoted to East Asian research. They have a couple hundred or more different versions of the book, some versions as early as 19th century. And I realized what I used to understand about Liao Zai Zhi Yi were quite wrong. They also see these stories are not some entertaining ghost stories. Um, it's very much, the, the stories are very much about human than about supernatural beings. A lot of these stories um, reflect the society at the time when common people were really oppressed by people with power, um, corrupted governments, um, and people with money and they really have no outlet to find justice and but in these stories um, they will finally be able to do so through their some help from supernatural being and supernatural forces so my initial idea about some fantastical pieces small movements of pieces um, for this work um, eventually changed because of the reading of these stories changed into stories are really focused on human and human emotion.